A uniform rod AB of mass 5 kilograms and length 1.2 meters is freely hinged to a vertical wall. So we've got a vertical wall, we've got a rod here, and it's hinged at this point. A force P newtons, as shown in the diagram, is applied at point B and keeps the rod horizontal and in equilibrium. The forces Xn and Yn are the horizontal and vertical components of the hinge. So we've got, and they are perpendicular to each other. Find the magnitudes of X, Y and P. Okay, so can you consider the diagram, the length of the rod is 1.2 and the uh, uh, as the rod is uniform, the center of mass will act halfway along the rod. So taking moments about A, so taking moments about this point here. Okay, so going anti-clockwise, we're going to have P times 1.2. And then going clockwise, we're going to have to take away 5G times 0.6. And that's going to be equal to 0 because the thing is in equilibrium. So rearranging that, we're going to get 1.2P is equal to 3G, 0.6 times 5. And therefore, P will be equal to 3 times uh, 9.8 divided by 1.2, which gives me 24.5 newtons. Okay, resolving vertically, so vertically we've got y plus p, or p plus y, and going down we've got, so taken away from that, we've got 5g, and that's equal to 0 because the rod is in equilibrium. We already know that uh, p is 24.5, so y will be equal to 5g minus p, which is 24.5, which again gives you 24.5. Now, resolving uh, horizontally, going this way, all right, we've got no force going that way, but we have a uh, force going that way, therefore x must be equal to zero newtons. So this has been a video to show you how to find the horizontal and vertical components of a reaction of a hinge and a missing force on a rod hinge to a wall. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.